What's up, what's going on legends? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're talking Black Ops 6 Zombies as it has now been confirmed that round based is set to return in Black Ops 6. Now, I don't think there was any question on whether or not we would have zombies in Black Ops 6, but I think there was some sort of speculation on whether or not there would be split support between maybe an open world experience similar to Outbreak or maybe MWZ and obviously round based alongside that. So it is confirmed that we are getting round based only on launch with two maps to come. And I don't think that we will be seeing any outbreak or open world mode, at least not on launch and maybe not for a few seasons in or maybe even into year two. But it is exciting to see the return of round based and the traditional four main characters that are also set to appear in this game. So it will be nice to have a set of four core characters that will be a part of the storyline alongside, again, a round based experience. Now, for these two maps, there has been some actual clues toward one of them, which is going to be known as Liberty Falls. It's going to be a town like map. This has been actually given a little bit of clues, like I said, from MWZ. There have been these radios that can be found around the map that you guys can actually interact with which will give us some sort of hints about Liberty Falls, which is a town in Virginia that actually Fletcher from MWZ is actually from. We're not going to go too deep into the lore in this one. So this is set to be one of the two map locations that we will be getting. And I think this one does sound pretty cool. There isn't a whole lot that we know about it. From what I heard, there is going to be a gas station. So maybe there's going to be little locations kind of similar to transit, because this, I think, is the map that was rumored from the leaks. It could be a transit style map, but honestly, up to this point, we don't know a whole lot about it besides the fact that it is called Liberty Falls and it is one of two maps on launch. Now, the second map is going to be known as Terminus. This is said to be an island, I think, that is going to kind of attach the storyline from Cold War directly with the characters that will be taking place as the four main characters within Black Ops 6, as it is a prison like island, which means it could be known as Black Site 13, which is the location in which the team that used to be known as Requiem was sent once they were arrested as Dr. Richtofen at the end of Black Ops Cold War, basically turned on them and said, you know what, we're going to get you guys all arrested. We're sending you all to jail and you're going to be there for an indefinite amount of time. So my guess is Terminus or Terminus Island, which is the second map location we're going to be getting on launch, is actually Black Site 13 or the prison location in which the team from Requiem was actually sent at the end of Cold War when they were arrested in that final cutscene. Now, if we do remember as well, this is the same kind of place that was actually pinpointed on the map by William Peck in the second part of the ending cutscene, where he shows up five years later, which would be 1990, and asks a fellow gentleman how to get to this specific island that is not shown on the map. He points to a place on the map saying that he's looking for some old friends, and at the end of that, it just says to be continued, where I'm expecting this Terminus Island map will actually start taking place. Now, from what I heard as well, both these maps will be happening simultaneously within the story. So somehow, which I'm sure we'll find out on launch, both of the storylines on the maps are actually happening at the exact same time, which is weird because it's like, well, how can the players be in two different places at the exact same time? So that is something that we will have to wait until launched in order to discover or wait until we have more information. But I do think this Terminus Island is the prison or Black Site 13 location in which the prisoners were sent or the ex-Requiem members were sent at the end of Black Ops Cold War. But overall, I am excited to see round-based return. I think it's great for the community as they think it will build up a lot more hype, gain the trust back from the zombies community that has been quite disappointed for some time now. And hopefully we'll see something like Outbreak in the future or even some of those fun modes like Onslaught. But that's going to wrap things up for us here. Let me know down in the comment section below if you're disappointed about no open world zombies or if you're excited for round-based with these two maps on launch. Thank you guys for all the support in today's video, all the support in the channel, and I look forward to seeing y'all in the next one. Peace.